So, Durant was the winner. And I was sent this team by Keon Spy, so you can go and follow him on Twitter. Uh, he sent me this Durant. It's a truant Durant, not the hustle one, because it can get hustle. And I don't know if an Ironhead hustle will knock out a Xerneas, but it probably could. But he's gone a different route with this one. He is going for Perish Trap with the Gengar. So with Truant, you can entrainment Truant onto opposing Pokemon. And then if you perish something, that they can only attack you once in that in that time before they have to um, before they die to perish. So basically you entrainment something, and then you don't have to protect on that move, then you can protect, and then you can just do another move, or just switch out that turn, they can't move, and then they die to perish, so. I think that's quite a, quite a nice idea. It's strange that it didn't pop up at all in VGC 15 when it was a lot more usable, but there we go. Uh, I've fixed his EV spread. He was a Focus Sash one with full HP and four attack. That's wrong, because he's got Endeavor. There's no point having full HP when you've got Endeavor. So I've taken all the EVs out of um, HP and reduced the IVs to zero because you want to do as much damage as possible with Endeavor. And then Iron Head will actually be able to do something. And he's got Metal Sound as well, which I like. Which compare with the three special attackers on the team. So, apart from that, it's pretty standard EV spread, just 252, 252. There's no point going anything else with a sash. What does Shiny Durant look like? Well, it's pretty much the same. I'll just stick with the normal Durant. So, it's basically pairing with this Mega Gengar. So, it's got Perish Song and Disable, which is crucial on Perish Song teams, because you need Perish Song. And the spreads, it just looks like it outspeeds Weavile's and then just the rest into HP and a little bit into defense. Like Sludge Bomb will still do a lot of Xerneas, it will still two hit Xerneas, and they're always going to be bulky enough to survive as like a 2x2 two two Sludge Bomb now, because they've uh, switched to bulky, so I, I think minimal investment into Sludge Bomb makes sense, especially with Metal Sound from Durant, although Metal Sound can miss. And yeah, we've got this Kyogre, it's quite a nice spread, it uh, survives Choice Man Ray, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. And then hits that um, bump, I think it is. No, it's not the bump. Well, it would be with a um, Primal Kyogre because you've got it in normal Kyogre form. I always put it as Primals or Megas on Showdown so that I can see the actual stats. But that is a nice 3% chance to KO Kanga Scamp with that attack, uh, special attack investment. And then it just looks like Speed Creep for the rest of it. Because between 28 and 76, there's no point investing in between that. You might as well go 28 or 76. So, the Xerneas is also a bulky one. It's got his moves in the wrong order. It's annoying. And, yeah, it just looks like a bulky one. I don't know what the special attack stat does. Yeah, I can't really see. It's, like, it might just equal the Timid uh, 252 one, maybe. Uh, probably survives two Precipice Blades from first looks. And special defense is interesting. It probably survives maybe a Water Spout or an Eruption. One of the two, and then some Speed Creep, I would say. So, very standard otherwise, apart from the EV spreads. Quite an interesting spread. Be curious to actually work out what it does, but... We've got this Hitmon top, which provides fake out support for the Perish Trap. So we've got the, the two Primals, though, if Perish doesn't work, basically. We've got Eject Button as well, so... You can just reshuffle your Intimidates, reshuffle your fake outs, which is key in Perish Trap. He hasn't gone full 252 investment into Hitmon top's attack, which leaves Kangaskhan a little bit of a chance to survive a close combat, I'm pretty sure, but then you just pick it up with feint anyway, I guess. And that uh, defense, special defense investment probably survives maybe a Kyogre, Origin Pulse, or Water Spout, I would say. Very standard moveset otherwise. That is probably the main four on him on top, I would say. And then we've got this Raichu, which has a uh, fake out as well to support with the Perish. It's got air balloons so you can't just get KO'd with the ground. If you've got Raichu and Kyogre out, and they don't have a rock move, then they can't touch your Raichu. And so you don't need really any defensive investment on Raichu, I don't think. Especially if you've got Bolt Tackle, you want the full attack investment, and then you actually do really decent damage, even though it's just a Raichu. And even when it's not against a Kyogre, I think it like maybe does like 50% to Kangaskans. Maybe that's with a Zap Plate, I can't remember. It's been a while since I used a Bolt Tackle Raichu, but there we go, that's the team. I think it looks pretty cool. Like, I, I like the idea of Entrainment Perish Trap, so let's see if it works. Okay, fairly standard Rayoga. It's got the Kangaskhan with it. I, I personally don't like Kangaskhan with Rayoga. I don't like having another Mega. I like the Mega Rayquaza. So... Raichu would get a faster fake out, but he could be in a focus. Can I go the Perish route? 
I think I want to, like, let's, let's try and start off with this Perish stuff. So I'm going to leave Durant and Gengar. And I'm actually going to leave my Primal. So let's just go full Perish and see what happens. Like, it's definitely going to go wrong. I should almost certainly bring Xerneas, but, you know. In fact, like, I prefer it over Kim on top, actually. No, over Raichu. Actually, Raichu's really nice as well. Let's bring Xerneas. Like, I, ne I do need a backup. And... Yeah, because I only have one Perish on one. It would be different if I had, like... Like, in 15, you had, like, Politoed or something. To do a second Perish. Uh, hit on top. So I can get Intimidate. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, I want to Entrainment and protect this turn. Because I don't want to take a Dragon's Ascent with Gengar. That would be bad. It could very easily be the Trick Room Impress. From his team, it doesn't really look like he should be Icy Wind. But, you know, like because he, he's got the Thunder Wave potential with the Thunder, so I would say that it's, he should have Trick Room on his crest. And if he does, that doesn't really matter. Because his Rayquaza will be Entrainmented. The worst case scenario would be if he doesn't Mega Revolve with the Ray, gets Entrainmented, and then just Mega Revolves. Would the Entrainment work that turn, though? That's interesting. I'd have thought not, because then it just gets rid of its ability. So it shouldn't. So I'm going to protect first. Is he going to protect? Okay, he doesn't. That's nice. And that is into Gengar. That's really nice. And he is going to Trick Room. I'm fine with that, because the, the Rayquaza can't move this turn. And my Durant can't move this turn, but that doesn't really matter. He can't really do anything with Crest unless he's got Psychic. So I am going to just do not. I can't do anything, can I? Do I want to leave it in and then possibly entrainment the Cress? No, I can go into uh, Xerneas and set up a Geomancy, can't I? Next turn, though, because I don't want to perish my own Xerneas. So, yeah, I'll just do nothing and perish some. Oh, oh, that was so nice. That was really, really nice. Wow. <laughs> I really like that. But now... Did I move first with Durant? No, I didn't. But I can Entrainment and protect this turn. Because he can't skill swap again with his crest because now he's got Truant. And I will be able to Truant this raid, whatever happens, because of... Um, actually, no, because then he can attack with crest the next turn. That's awkward. Hmm... Then it'd just be able to switch out. But then I'll be able to get my Xerneas. Hmm. I'm going to entrain with the Ray. And I'm going to protect. Because then I'll be able to get my Xerneas out next time. That's nice. And I'm going to survive that because of my Sash. And now he's going to get double true into this turn, isn't he? Because he attacked with his crest. Both of them have true that's perfect. So now I do want to switch into Cernius. I do want to switch into Cernius, don't I? And I need to stay in with Gengar, so it doesn't really matter what I do, does it? I just protected it anyway, but they can't attack, so... I'm going to just uh, disable... No, I can't disable the overheat. That's, that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to slip on the ray. Makes no difference to me now. Okay, wasn't he just truanted? No. Sure. Is it, it doesn't work this turn. Okay, that's interesting. But now, surely it works this turn. So now I can Geomancy and switch out into my Hitmontop. That's interesting. I thought it would he would have been double truanted this turn. And I guess he did as well. That's why he extreme speeded himself. But there we go. Like, I'm learning the truant mechanics. That's nice. Because I've never used Truant as a competitive move before. And I didn't know about it, like all this stuff. I did think the Ray would be Truanted, but he is going to be this turn. I get the freest Geomancy in the world. He's going to Truant. What's he going to do? He's going to reverse Trick Room. It doesn't really matter. And both of them get KO'd, which is really nice. I've got my Xerneas, and he's got his Ferrothorn. That makes sense. 
I think you need fist plate to knock out the Ferrothorn. So I, w I would have faked out the Ferrothorn and um, so that stuff at the bottom. That's a load of ads. Um, yeah, I would have faked out the Ferrothorn and smooth blasted the Kyogre because then even if he orange impulsed, that wouldn't have really done much. Then I'd have just been able to um, close combat and definitely in the next turn. So that was really nice. That worked out pretty much exactly as how it's supposed to. I'm pretty sure. So like it was. A bit awkward with the truant mechanics, but now I've, I've got a handle of that. Let's, let's move on to the next one. Okay, how are we going to do against Big Six? <laughs> so, I like. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the Perish stuff. I really like it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave this. Just go with the same four. Like, I, I really like the Perish option. Kyogre is obviously really nice against the Big Six, but the point is this Durant. <laughs> I, I really, really like it. He leads off with his Kanker Scan, that's the worst case scenario. Or Talonflame. Talonflame would be annoying. But then I can entrainment to get rid of the Gale Wings. And that would be really nice. He could leave with the Xerneas. I wonder how much Iron Head does without the Hustle. It wouldn't be a knockout. Sludge Bomb and Iron Head would, though. Metal Sound and Sludge Bomb would be. So hopefully he leads with something that won't, that will be able to be perished. That's, hmm. So he either fakes out my Gengar in normal form, or he fakes out my Duran. So I am going to entrainment Xerneas. Want to Mega Evolve? Now do I want to go straight for perish? I think so, because then. He can't touch my Gengar, because I'll be able to disable the Sucker Punch. So I'm going to go straight for Perish. Worst case is he scrapped the face on my Gengar, I think. That's fine. So he just tried and Sucker Punch, so that's really nice. I've got rid of his Gale Wings, that's also really nice. So now... To switch out my Duran, I think, because it can't move and hit him on top can be useful. And I just protect my Gengar. <coughs> he can easily predict that and go for like Tailwind or something with his Town Flame, but that doesn't affect anything at this point. He could. The worst case is he Brave Birds my Duran. I'm pretty sure I like hit him on top at minus one, should live. Barely. Theoretically. It's going to be a suck bunch which fails, and it's going to be flareless, so that's nice. So based on that damage, I would have actually been KO'd. So wait, I'm a jet button, aren't I? Yeah, because now I can train with the Kangaskhan, can't I? That's really nice, because he's definitely um, not moving with his Talon Flame this turn, and then if I just disable his suck bunch, he can't move. I don't want to disable flareless. It doesn't really matter, because then I'm switching out Gengar next turn. So I'm in Trainment, onto the Kangaskhan, and yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, Sable, which one? Yeah, Sable the Town Flame, I guess. Yeah, he's loafing around. He is going to attack the Duran, which is the smart play. But he... I truanted him before, so he should not move this turn. That should be the right way around. So Durant's not going to move this turn, but I do want to leave it in because he, wait, he can he can still brave burn me, and my sash has been broken now. But I should like I've got decent defense. I shouldn't die to a brave bird. Was he lifeful? He was lifeful. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm doing nothing with um, Durant this turn, and do I want him on top of Xerneas? I'm going to go with Xerneas because I want the fake out support for the Parish in the back. He's going to tear win, that's the smart play. He's going to true him with his Kangaskhan and get knocked out. Now he's going to have his Groudon and his Xerneas. And he'll be able to fire move. Yes, I could, um, him on top would have probably been better, wouldn't it? Because now he can fire punch. Knock out my Durant because my Sash has been broken. That's disappointing. Um, 
going to try an entrainment Xerneas and Geomancy. So if he goes for P Blades, then I get my entrainment off. And then that's really good. If it comes down to it, hit him on top would be the slowest thing. So if I have to perish and then triple protect, so I can't protect with him on top, can I? So that wouldn't really work. And then Gengar would be the fastest thing, and then he would win. Unless I knock out the Groudon first, but either way, it's not looking so good now. He's just going to straight up Moonblast. Is he going to Fire Punch? He is going to Fire Punch, so I get a Geomancy now. That could have been a mistake on his part. Like, that's given me a way back in. His Moonblast did reduce my special attack, so that does suck. I am going to go to hit on top. And I'm going to fake out. Oh, do I faint? It's a big question with hit on top, isn't it? Hmm. I think it's better just suppressing the ground on. And then we blast. Would it be better not to attack the Zernis? Because he'll go out of Tailwind at some point. The fake out and dazzle. That's probably the wrong one. So I did I did get the fake out right. He did just dazzle with uh, he outsped me because I'm the bulky one aren't I? And now I'm in Moonblast range. I can double protect but he could geomancy. Awkward mind games. So what would be this? Like, surely he geomancies and Prespice Blades. Like, that is the play you go for. Uh, minus, uh, plus one. I don't think he's in the Moonblast range. How much did it does the win do to him? 31%. I think I have to go for... No, he did just Moonblast, so this could be fine. Oh, it would have been fine. Oh yeah, I'm bulky, aren't I? Forgot about that. That was a mistake on my part, so Double Protect would have won me the match, which is a shame. But there we go. Almost, I got a Perish kill on two things, so that's something. Let's have another one. You don't see a Milotic every day. So that's interesting. This is just the gravity stuff with a Milotic for no reason. I can't really see the reason behind the Milotic. They don't usually carry fake out the meow stick. The Kangaskhan does, but you would leave with the meow stick. I'm gonna leave the perish stuff because that's the point of this. And Xerneas with I'm on top or right you. Uh, hit the top. Like I like these four. I'm just going with the full Perish mode. Kyogre, again, would be really nice. It was definitely a good thing to bring in the last match, but there we go. So I would expect the Meowstic lead. Meowstic and Kyurem would make sense, but it is going to be Ground on Winterclot. Interesting. He hasn't got any gravity at this point. So I should be able to just protect entrainment that Groudon. But then he can encore my Gengar. That's awkward. Yeah, I have to endeavor this turn. That's not looking so good. No I have speeds to the end of it won't do anything. That's awkward. Do I need to flinch the ground on? I think I need to flinch the ground on. <laughs> That's not so good. Let's go for the flinch. Oh, I got it! I'm so good at this game! <laughs> that's brilliant. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was my only way out, so that's really nice. Now I'm going to switch into Hit on Top and Protect. 
<laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, so good. I did break my. I uh, didn't have a sash on him on top of my thinking. But I do jet button myself out now. Do I want to go into Durant? So that's annoying. I would have probably preferred my Durant to go down there, actually. Because then I could have faked out the Groudon. Because now I need a double protect, don't I? Yeah, I need a double protect. I got the flinch already. Um, in fact, minus two might not knock out the Gengar because it's bulky. So I'm going to go for the double protect anyway. But then I still theoretically live the Precipice Blades. I don't get it, but I should live. I might not live anymore, but I still should. Maybe? Yeah, I do live. Nice, nice. So now I can fake out and protect. No, I want to switch, don't I? Definitely want to switch. Um, so yeah, fake out onto Groudon and switch out into Durant. Because Durant will be KO'd to a Grass Knot. Let's go into Durant. Fake out. It's going to be Grass Knot into Durant, so that's fine. Now he just gets both his Pokemon knocked out. No more Tailwind. That's really nice. And then you would expect the, the Kyrem Kangaskhan. If he's Scarf, that's awful. I'm going to go into Cernius. He's like, he's almost certainly Scarf. So we knock out the Kyrem. Then I can win with Gengar because then I disable the Sucker Punch. And he hasn't got any gravity. That's the key thing. So I'm going to close combat Kyrem. And I'm going to go for Geomancy. Okay, that's fine. At this point, it's fine. Because theoretically, I should be bulky enough to take anything he throws at me. So I die protect, want to protect in Geomancy. And then hopefully he misses his blizzard. He didn't, so I'm going to die. That's bad. So that's game over. That would have been fine if he missed the hit on top, because then Kieran would have been knocked out. But I, I got lucky with that flinch, didn't I? It's, it's a shame he's just spamming. Like, Ice Beam was his better move in that, at that point, but it's a shame he went for Blizzard. Oh, I want to pull off the Perish again so badly, because it was so fun in the first match. It's, uh, come on, let's pull it off in the next match. Okay, Kyogre Dialga. I haven't seen that in a while. Pretty standard team. It's like, it's Wolfie's team with a Kangaskhan instead of Salamence. But I should be able to pull off the Perish. Pretty sure I'm gonna go with Jiren Gengar. And then I want hit one top. It's Enius, I guess. Like I could go with the double fake out right you, but if I do that, then I literally can only perish kill. So that's fine. Like he could, he's he's gonna earthquake this time, isn't he? Because you can see that my only Mega is Gengar. I do kind of need to entrain my Protect, don't I? I think so. So he did Rock Slide, okay. So he predicted my Gengar to stay normal. That's fine, because now the Landers can't do anything. He's probably got Flamethrower on his... Dialga. And that's not the worst thing. Because now I can go into Hit on Top and Parasol. It was playing for her. And now I'm going to get a Jack Button out. I keep forgetting about that. He, won't, he doesn't have Flash Cannon on his Dialga now. Like, almost certainly. If it's still the same one. 
So I will be able to get up the Geomancy with Xerneas if I wanted to, but it's a bit too early for that at the moment. I think Durant. No, I just switch out again on the Flamethrower. Because now I can switch Durant into Xerneas. And Protect would be better. He's going to Flamethrower my Xerneas again. That's going to do minimal damage. Rock Slide would do a decent amount to Xerneas, I guess. But now I get a super free Geomancy. Because I just Geomancy Protect now. And... Is it worth disabling the... The Dialga? No, it's better disabling the... The Landorus. Because Dragon Pulse is a decent amount, but it can't touch Xerneas. Rock Slide can. Flamethrower will do nothing to Xerneas now, so... That's really nice. So he's going to struggle now as well. And he can't really touch the Xerneas, but I, th there's no point not protecting his there. And then just switch out into Durant. It's fine. It's fine. My Durant sticks around, so that's really nice. And I can endeavor something, so if it's the Ferrothorn, then I just endeavor Dazzling Glee. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and I'm going to endeavor the, the Ferrothorn. Wait, no, I'm not faster right now. That's bad. That would be a bad play. I'm going to protect and endeavor the Ferrothorn. Wait, did I already protect? I am a fool. Well, I'm going to live. I'm going to get KO'd to the Gyro Ball, just because I'm really smart. But, there we go. That was really clever of me, and... Can perish some now, but that's bad. That was a terrible misplay. See, I told you I shouldn't have protected my Xenius last round. Just completely blanked on that. Am I going to be faster? I'm surely faster with him on top. I'm going to wide guard because I'm expecting the protect from the Ferrothorn. And I'm just going to do nothing with Durant. He didn't protect, so that's a shame. And he did Scold as well, so close combat would again would have just won. That's a shame. So I can't win now. So, yeah, just left one. That was poor. Yeah. So well, it just doesn't gleamed. Endeavor would have still taken him down to the same, but... Yeah, that was, that was poor. I don't know why he's protecting his Kyogre. There's no point sorting this out. It does a decent amount of damage, I guess, but... No, it's just going to KO me. That was awful on my part. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I didn't think I'd protected for some reason. That was really, really, really bad. But let's move on to the next one, then. Right, so that's, that's like... Kind of the big six core with Kyogre instead of Groudon. Interesting. Try and perish you. Uh, Raichu is better than him on top in this case, I think. And actually, no. This time I want both of the restricteds. Although Raichu is actually really nice. But yeah, no, I want to over Kyogre. So that should be fine. Just looking at it, I should be able to get the Parish out. And the Kangaskhan and Xerneas, so... I should be fine against that. That was the first thing I did, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to... Yeah, just Entrainment and Parish on, don't I? Worst he can be is Scrappy Fake Out. He could Fake Out Durant. That would be annoying. If I get faked out, do I take the truant turn next turn? No, I'm curious about that. Hopefully, he tries to suck off onto my Gengar for no reason. That's fine. 
It was scrappy, okay. So now he's in the spawn, my Gengar. But I can protect it. So. Do I want to switch out with Duran? So Moongus will be able to attack, but then it won't. So I'm actually going to leave my Durant in and protect, because the Amoongus will Rage Powder this turn, but it won't be able to next turn. He can't knock out my Durant. He stayed Scrappy. That was nice. That was nice. But now I entrainment you. You no longer have Scrappy if you decide to stay in like that, and I am going to Parasong. <laughs> Perfect. Now he can't hit my Gengar. That's, that's exactly what this team is supposed to do. That is so nice, because now I can protect from the Spore, which is really, really good. I don't mind if Durant takes the Spore. Let's try and Metal Sound this Amoongus for no reason, and I protect from the potential Spore. He's going to Truant with his Kangaskhan. Ooh, but he's going to Mega Evolve this turn. So this this is what I was thinking about. Yeah, well, like he should be able to attack my Durant if he Mega Evolves. He didn't Mega Evolve. Why didn't you Mega Evolve? Did you bring Salamence as well? You fool. Like, he still can't touch my Gengar if I don't attack, as long as he doesn't Mega Revolve and Sucker Punch. So I'm going to go into Raichu. Do I want to go into Raichu? No, I'm going to go into Xerneas, because then I can disable the Spore. Yeah, that makes sense. So no more Spore. Maybe Spore. And he's still he's still not Mega Evolving. Why isn't he Mega Evolving? Now, do I Geomancy and let my Gengar die so that I Spore the Amoongus? What did he have in the back? He had, he had Tanaflame, didn't he? No, he had his own Xerneas. So you would assume Kyogre as well. That is actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to let my Gengar go down so that I can disable the Spore. And if he Rage Powders, then that doesn't really matter. He finally Mega Evolved. Okay, that's fine. Because now he can't Spore. Gengar goes down, but I get Fake out with my Raichu. Do I have Faint? I don't have Faint, do I? And it just forfeits. That's boring. Come on. <laughs> I wanted to finish the match. But that, that was a really nice Durant Gengar combination there. I'll try and get one more really good one. We all do primal. It's a fairly common six now, I think. I'm gonna go with Durant Gengar. I think I want him on top. And Xenius. I need him on top to hit that Feral Thorn. So I can perish it, but I need to back up. But then I sacrifice being able to beat that Groudon. <laughs> oh, he's straight up leading with Feral Thorn. That's really interesting. Now he can taunt my Durant, but I'm hoping he's not going to, because I'm going to Entrainment the Thunderous and Protect. Hopefully he taunts my Gengar. Don't taunt my Durant. You don't know what Durant does. Don't do it. That was a very interesting lead from him. I guess it was really anti Xerneas. The worst case would be he taunts my Durant. I'm hoping he thunderwaves my Gengar. That would be preferable. He does switch into Weavile, so that, that was alright. Now don't taunt my Durant. Yes! The right one. So now you're not a prankster anymore. You will be able to attack this turn though. Hmm. I will get KO to a knockoff Thunderbolt, won't I? That's not 
not so good. Maybe not if I go into hit on top though. That's what I need. I need to survive this knockoff plus Thunderbolt. Because I didn't in entrainment him after he had attacked, so he should, if I understood the mechanics now, should be able to attack this turn. So he should, he should knock off and Thunderbolt. What would be better? Like, if, if he doubles into Genga, I would prefer a Thunder Wave than a Thunderbolt. He's going to be knock off. Uh, do I live the Thunderbolt? Oh, it's going to be Thunder Wave. Nice. Very nice. So now I can just straight up protect my Gengar. Do I even need to this turn? Because I can fake out. But then I risk the paralysis. I think I need to risk the paralysis. No, do I even need to? No, I don't, because I can disable the Weavile. So I'm going to fake out the Weavile, and I'm going to disable the Weavile. Because then, even if I get paralyzed, he can't knock me out with... I don't get paralyzed, so that's fine, and I do disable the knockoff. So that's really good. Because he can only Icicle Crash me now, and he has to Thunderbolt and Icicle Crash into my Gengar to knock me out. But that's probably not going to happen, so I'm going to go into my Durant and Protect. It's working out nicely, I like this. Nope, you can't faint a ghost. <laughs> Perfect. And now he is truanted with his thunderous, so he can't attack with that, and he can't break my sash with Weavile. So I'm going to switch back out into Hitmontop so that I survive any icicle crashes. And. Actually, no, I need to switch out with Gengar, don't I? I'm going to double switch. I'm going to go into Xerneas and Hitmontop. <laughs> Horrendous tactics. <laughs> Perfect reaction. There's going to be a... Oh, he attacked the Durant. That's interesting. That wouldn't have been the target I picked, but there we go. It's going to be Ferrothorn and what? Groudon. Okay. So that makes it a bit more interesting. I wish I brought Kyogre instead of Xerneas now. He is going to Gyro Ball my Xerneas. Surely. So I'm going to Moonblast, and I'm going to Close Combat with his Ferrothorn. I should live with both, which I do, because I was bulky. I'm Eject Button. I hate this Eject Button. Oh. I'm going to go into Gengar, because I can get the Perish up, because he's not gyroballing my... Get him on top. Yep. That's fine. Now, do I go into Durant? Or do I go into... Because I can entrainment the Groudon. But I need, I need to fake it out. I need to perish some. That's awkward. So I should die to Durant. Well, actually, my, I'm bulky and he's minus one. If I live with both, that's perfect. Then I just win. Now I lose. That's a shame. If I wouldn't have got paralyzed there, I'm pretty sure I would have taken that. Oh, disappointing. I guess I can flinch the crowd on, then he can miss. Like, it, it's over. Because I'm in um, truanted myself, I can't attack next turn, and then he just fire moves me and wins. If he misses a power whip, I guess. Like, didn't flinch, but there we go. Oh. That full power, I probably would have taken that. I want, I'm, I'm going to finish on a win. This this is a fun team, I'm going to finish on a win. It's not Espeon, what are you talking about? You should have an Espeon if it's in your name like that. But he's got a Vel with Kyogre, which is an interesting pairing. There's only a few, only a couple of successful Vel Kyogre teams that I know of, and they all look very similar, but this one doesn't really look like it. Let's go with the Durant Gengar. And Xerneas looks nice. I'm gonna have him on top as well for the intimidate. 
Kangaskhan and Moongus. Is it going to be Scrappy? Either way, I want to think I want to entrainment. I don't want to protect from potential spore. But I need to entrainment the Moongus, don't I? Because I need to stop any spores in the future. And he did... What? Okay, he's staying scrappy for in the future, I guess, but... Okay, now I'm going to be curious as to whether I can actually attack through this. So I can disable the Amoongus Spore. And then next turn I can disable the... No, I can't see Rage Powder. So I can disable the Spore, and I do stay truant. Okay, that's good to know. He's going to power up punch now, and I can't disable the Double Edge. But I can switch to him on top and go for Parasol. Because he won't be able to knock me out with a normal double edge now. And if he goes double edge that turn, then I can disable him. No, I can't because he can Rage Powder. I've already said that. <laughs> but I can get my Parish Song up this turn. But then I'll just Rage Powder, uh, Fake Out and just disable. He's going to Mega Roll this turn, so that's really nice. Okay, that's not so nice. I thought I got ejected on the first hit. I thought that's how it worked. That's annoying. But he, he will be... Did I get the entrainment up at all? I didn't, did I? But now... I can go into my Xerneas, can't I? Get a Geomancy. Or do I want to... Metal Sound... Sludge Bomb the Kangaskhan. Because surely you don't suck a punch at Gengar here. Because I'm going to protect. So I am going to go for that. I'm going to go for Duran. And I'm going to Metal Sound this Kangaskhan. And wait, no, because he's Perish. Why did I do that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to switch out into my Xerneas now. And I'm doing. Is there any reason to protect? There's not really any reason, is there? Might as well just disable the double edge. Because then he can't really touch my. my Xerneas. So that, that does make sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Because the worst he can do is, like, sludge bomb me. And no one is going to sludge bomb a Durant. So this, this is actually coming into place. Should work out alright. Unless we see anything crazy from the Kangaskhan. It is taking a while. Because he can't switch. Maybe he's debating whether to suck a punch or not with Kangaskhan. Because if he does, then he will be able to double edge my Xerneas next turn. now, pretty much. He either sucker punches and fails on my Gengar, or he tries to double-edge my Duran. Or he power-up punches against my Duran, I guess. Power-up punch would probably be his best play. But Moongus can still rage counter can't it? I mentioned that like three times. I'm still disabling, but, like, there's nothing else best to do. I just hope he doesn't Rage Powder. So, this is taking quite a while. I'm going to put on the timer and just cut to when he makes a move. So, the other guy lost to inactivity. Of course he did. So, now, got gravity stuff, and we've got a save light that can switch out of Perish. So I don't think I'm going to be able to win this one. But I'm going to try anyway. I want to pull off the Perish even though it's the bad route to go. And I'm going to bring in... Uh, I'm going to bring my two Prime... Uh, my two Restrictors this time. Mian Xiao and Cresselia. I like that. 
pretty much ideal for me. Because now, an entrainment crest, and I can perish them. I'll probably take a fake out with Duran. But he needs to switch here. If he doesn't switch, I'm in a really good position. He doesn't switch. That's fine, I'll take the fake out. Normal gem fake out, what? Well, that is not worth it. Like, now you're stuck in unless you have U-turn. And surely you don't have U-turn. But I will get truant this turn, won't I? I'm gonna go into Xerneas. Is there, is, is there any reason to protect? I guess so, because then I just disable what the Cresselia does. But I am in Trick Room anyway, but... Ah, that's why I protect. Low kick, so that's fine. So now, do I need to double protect it? Doesn't really matter. If I was out of Trick Room, I'd just disable that skill spot. I should have... No, because that wouldn't have worked either way. I'm going to try and double protect anyway, because he can't really touch me. And if he, if he skill swaps me, he can switch, but then I get my Geomancy, and I win. So that's fine. You can take my Shadow Tag, and you can switch out. And if you don't switch out, I win. So I'm going to Moonblast this Cress. What could come in? I'm going to switch to Duran anyway. It's going to be Mobile. That takes a lot. That's really nice. He doesn't switch out his main shell, so Moonblast is amazing. And one-shots that Mawal. And now he can't switch. Because I got the double knockout with the Perish, so that is perfect. It's going to be Groudon and Cresselia. I can just protect this turn. And then I can just spout with my Kyogre and win. So, Durant didn't really do much, but, you know. <laughs> Did I get an entrainment off? I just got faked out, didn't I? Yeah, it didn't do anything, but I managed to get the Perish song win, so that's really nice. I'm just going to protect and just, yeah, entrainment the Groudon. Doesn't really matter. Respice Blades could miss. That's going to be Eruption. <laughs> that doesn't matter. And now I just go into Kyogre and win. Do I want to try and get the Perish, though? Like, that could be a choke. But that's the point of this. Would there be a, a really safe way of me winning if I go with Gengar? Like, because I could uh, Moonblast the Groudon, and I could Perish Song. And then I shouldn't die to a Helping Hand Eruption. But, like, Kyogre's a win anyway, surely. Is it worth going with Perish? Let's... Like, I win. Like, I definitely won. I Water Spout, and I Moonblast the Crest, and I win. So let's just try and do this fun way. I'm going to Moonblast, Groudon... And I'm going to Perish Song. That's fine. I don't care about that. Because, yeah, no. It's 100% win now. Because because he protected, I can double protect. I can switch out one of them. And then I can protect the other side. Double protect. That's fine. Yeah. So there's no way out of it for him now. So I just double protect. Like that. I'm going to Eruption. But, or press his Blades, I guess. That doesn't really matter. And then I just switch out. Doesn't really matter, yeah, he knows it. Don't forfeit, let me win. And then I just switch out, and I just go for another protect. I'm gonna get the double and be cheeky. Nah, <laughs> oh well. Christmas plays, doesn't knock out my Kyogre anyway. And I just double protect for the win. Perfect. I'm going to just water spout and protect, just to be cheeky. But <laughs> there we go. Pulled off the perish. Durant did nothing in that last one, but it, it did a few things, I guess. Like, I, I really like the concept of this team. It's definitely... I, I wouldn't bring it to a tournament at all, unless, like, I was just having complete fun. But, yeah, like, that that that, 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 that was fun. I like that. There will be another Twitter poll uh, when this video goes up there, um, on... Go on to Twitter, vote for your favourite Pokemon out of the three that I'll pick. Not many people voted in the last one though, or just put suggestions. So please put more suggestions for Pokemon in the comments of this video. And I, I will consider all of them, and I will pick my three favourites, and put it up in the next Twitter poll for the next fun conventionality. So, 
go and watch that. If I'm smart and tech savvy, I'll be able to put a link to my Twitter poll on the screen right now. I have amazing timing, don't I? So, yeah, go and click on that, and thanks for watching.